about campus leadership development, I learned that the leadership skills I possess are fairness, motivation, and the ability to celebrate small victories. When I work in a group, I make sure everybody's opinion is heard even if it is deemed weird or strange. Also, I make sure that each group member is given tasks that work well with them. This is a great way to make sure they will get their work done since it is something they can handle. In school, I am consistently motivated to work hard. I'm always doing homework, and I make sure my tasks are done before I have fun. Motivation is something that every leader should have. Not only does it help to complete tasks yourself, but it can be used to motivate others to work just as hard. This is especially helpful in group projects, which we have already done in this class, or businesses trying to work towards a common goal to generate a big investment. Celebrating the small victories is something that is often forgotten when in a leadership role. Essentially, it is praising someone for accomplishing something that contributes to the goal. For example, a group of employees working at a company could be developing a plan to develop a fully equipped solar-powered car. Each person in the group is given a task to be completed in a timely manner so each task can be synthesized together to develop the solar car. When the leader of the group compliments each group member about their portion of the project, they are praising the small victories. I like adopting this skill into my own leadership style because it shows the group members or constituents that you care about them and show support on a personal level. When I work at my future job, I will always compliment people on their contributions regardless of the size. It shows that you care about their work and are willing to know more about it. One major leadership goal I have for my future is to create an environment of collaboration and positivity where people can generate ideas without the fear of being judged or ostracized by simply advocating for individuality and happiness. If people are subjected to happiness and individuality, they will be more likely become self-aware of what they can produce and not be afraid to share their opinion about something. If this can successfully happen, more people will be willing to collaborate with each other which benefits the group. The group will become more connected with each other and ultimately stronger as a whole. Other leaders may have different goals, but I believe this goal is something that is important to me, and I want to share this with others to do the same. There are many ways I can incorporate my vision and mission statement to reach my goals. A personal mission statement of mine is to treat everyone equally and with respect. Since one of my goals is to create an environment for collaboration and positivity, treating everyone equally is a way to show that someone's voice is not any more important than someone else's. If there is a decrease in judgment within the group, the group members will detect a sense of trust. When people collaborate with one another, they can get an accurate sense as to what needs to change or become better. Group projects or working in some type of group can function much smoother when people discuss the options presented. Overall, I really enjoyed this class. I thought the discussions we had were relevant to not only the book but everyday life. I'm glad we took the time to fill out those surveys about our personality types because they are a great way to see how you truly act as a person and what you can do to act better with other people. The first day of class, I saw leadership as one person making decisions for a group of people. After taking this class, I know there's more than that. There are many components to leadership, but in general, it involves being practical and considering things from the heart. It is about connecting with people on a personal level and not seeing the constituents as something you must take care of but something that you can help grow and nurture to benefit the world. It is important to take risks and experiment with various leadership styles but stay true to your actual self. Don't act like someone that you aren't because people will know the truth.